hello everyone in this video I am going to be show how to install an ESXi on unsupported operating system or unsupported uh, CPU sorry not operating system CPU I am just creating an ESXi on my workstation I selected that image just proce I'm proceeding with the basic all details like VM name and uh, where I want to be save this file then I given sufficient space to install ESXi so once you turn on the virtual machine on right bottom you can notice two settings if you see it is booting automatic and you can see here shift plus O I'm not changing anything first I'm going to be I'm going to be proceed with the installation it is going to be pop up an error the CPU is not supported until that I'm going to be continue as it is once the error pops I'm going to be do the changes from the beginning I am proceeding with the installation press enter then F11 accepting and continue there is only one disk available it's going to be scan all the available disks there is only one disk which I provisioned at 60 GB and I am going with the default once you provide the password for the root then hit enter it is going to be of an error saying this CP is not supported I'm proceeding with the reboot now by pressing F11 here you can see shift plus O so once we hit shift plus O it is not going to be boot here we can see the default command is run as well CD ROM boot if we remove this then the uh, without installing the ESXi boot from that CD and we can do whatever tests we can and we can turn it off if you if we give a command allow legacy CPU equals to true then it is not going to be verify the CPU what version or uh, whether it is supported for the 8.0 or not it is going to be it is not going to be verify anything and it is going to be continue with the installation now again I am continue with the installation by pressing enter press F11 
same disk I selected and I given the root password then hit enter it is going to be prompt warning previously it is showing an error now it is in a warning it is saying the same it is not going to be support so once we proceed the installation process started now I'm going to be remove the installation media then I will restart it Now installation completed successfully. I'm going to be change the IP from DHCP to static and I, I will finish other DNS update and other. We can see only one network adapter. If we have multiple, here we're going to be enable all. Here I'm going to be changed from DHCP to static. Rest all I'm keeping as it is. is going to be restart that network services it's done name updated and new IP also updated